On the morning of May 3rd, just a few weeks ago, the earth shook in Los Angeles. There was an earthquake. It's not the first time there's been an earthquake. It's part of life in Southern California. But nonetheless, when the earth starts shaking at 4.07 in the morning, you're awoken, you're pretty nervous, you want to you know what's going on. People in Southern California have always wondered, is, is this the big one? Is this the earthquake that's going to you know, take out the city, do a lot of damage? As it happened, this was not that earthquake, but nonetheless, it was a moment when news was necessary, when people needed to have information and context and to have it quickly. As it happens at 4.07 in the morning, there are very few people in the newsroom of the Los Angeles Times, the major newspaper in Los Angeles. But there was one bright young reporter who had only been there at the Times for, for a short period of time, who was there and available to, to write a story very quickly, a story that, that uh, only took four minutes from the moment that the earthquake began to the time it was posted on the newspaper's website, a remarkable performance. And what was interesting about this is that the author of this, of this piece, the reporter, was not a human being. It was actually QuakeBot. QuakeBot is an algorithm, a program, that was written by a Los Angeles Times journalist who realized that whenever there's an earthquake, the data about that earthquake, the magnitude of the quake, the, the location of the quake, how far down into the Earth's crust the quake was centered, is all posted on the United States Geological Survey website. And it was possible for, for someone to access that information, a program to wait for that update to occur, to figure out the data was structured and figure out where to get that information from, and to turn it into a news story, into an actual prose news story. Now, if you've ever met any journalists, you know that they are not without ego. Journalists like to discuss about how they deserve credit for things. There are often fights over things like bylines, who gets credit for a story. But you'll notice here in this story that later on in the day, an actual human being contributed to the story, added more context, added more information. But the human being only got the contributed to this report line. The bot kept the byline. 